Hey, welcome to the Relentless Positivity Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Martin. So I got a pretty special episode today because I keep hearing from people that, you know, they're having trouble sticking with their commitments. They wake up and they just don't feel like doing what they said they were going to do the night before. So we're going to have a dramatic reading for my book, Relentless Positivity, available on Amazon, by the way, bestseller, (laughs) humble brag. Anyway, so I'm going to read from chapter 12 in here. That's part of it. And then there's another suggestion I have at the end that I got from one of my clients that also might help you get things done. It's pretty good. So stick around for that. So let's get into this dramatic reading. I'm an awesome reader. So just tune in to my melodious voice here. This is chapter 12 in Relentless Positivity, Commitment, A Decided Heart. So there is a book I really enjoy written by Andy Andrews called The Traveler's Gift. One of the concepts from the book is something I use on an almost daily basis, the concept of a decided heart. This particular concept is an extremely powerful one. It's a personal mantra that I use where I just repeat to myself, I have a decided heart. So how many times you go back and forth about making a decision? And then you make a decision and you go back and forth about whether that was the right decision. Then you just drive yourself crazy, right? So the first time I used this concept was going on a winter hike. I made up my mind on a Friday night that I was going to go hiking the next morning. It is a rare thing when I don't have somewhere to be on a Saturday morning, so it was perfect. I love hiking, but I don't always have time to go, so this was great. So when I got up on Saturday morning, the first thing I heard was the wind howling and the rain lashing the house. I never wavered on whether or not I was going hiking. I gave myself no outs and no excuses. I was going. It also helped me to keep this quote by Ralph Fiennes in mind. There is no such thing as bad weather, only inappropriate clothing. So with that, I just grabbed my rain gear, headed out, and ended up being a really awesome hike. You know, it was exact, exactly what I needed at the time. So I was very thankful for my decided heart at that time. So try using that for yourself sometime, especially if you have been missing a lot of your workouts or if you find yourself having trouble with your nutrition, decide right now what you want to do and that nothing can alter your course. This is a great passage from the traveler's gift. It's kind of a good personal mantra if you want to develop that. So it goes like this. I will not wait. I'm a, I am passionate about my vision for the future. My course has been chartered. My destiny is assured. I have a decided heart. So start tonight. Decide what you're going to do tomorrow and then do it. Just get that decided heart. When you're mentally and emotionally prepared to do something, the physical part comes so much easier. You have a decided heart. Now use it. <clears throat> so I think that's by dramatic reading right there. So I think that's a great concept, but also if you're like my friend from boot camp, I won't give out her name, but uh, her and her friend, they, they do boot camp together. We're talking about, uh, hey, are you going to go today? It's like, oh, we are going. I've already got this bra on. <laughs> so that's it. So they have either have a decided heart or decided bra, but get out there, make up your mind and get it done. Hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in.